Okay, so today we will learn about the flow net. So what is the flow net? Okay, flow net is a set of flow lines and equipotential lines. So once you have the flow lines and equipotential lines, so we call it as a flow net. So what is the use of the flow net actually? The flow net is used to determine, right, to analyze the seepage. Yeah, the seepage is the movement of water through the soil. So what is the flow line? Right, so the flow line is a line along which water particle will travel. So if you can see here, the blue color line here, it will move from the upstream okay, to the downstream here. So the movement will always from the higher water level at the upstream to the downstream. Okay, now so another flow lines. Okay, you need to draw the flow line until close to the boundary A, B. But you cannot exceed boundary A, B. Okay, now you have an equipotential line. So what is an equipotential line? Equipotential line is a line joining the points that show the same piezometric elevation. So from one equipotential line to another equipotential line have the same piezometric elevation. So the red line color here are the set of the equipotential line. <coughs> okay, so the, the boundary of CD, boundary CD and boundary FG here, all right, so that boundary line the boundary line here also considered as a, a equipotential line. Same goes to line A, B. Alright, the blue straight line color here, that is the boundary. That one also considered as an flow lines. So you will have the flow line in this shape and the equipotential line in this shape. Right. So the constructions of the flow net must follow the the rules and the boundary conditions all right so uh, the most important uh, conditions that the area between flow lines and equipotential line must be curvilinear square all right so when you uh, have this complete set of the flow lines and equipotential line so it will should produce Shape in curvilinear square. All right, you can see here that the shape here is in curvilinear square. All right, you so you, you cannot have uh, the shape like rectangular. Okay, you cannot have rectangular. It must have the shape curvilinear square. And the intersection, the intersections of, a, of an equipotential with a flow line must occur at 90 degrees. All right, as you can see here, this is the flow line and this is the equipotential line it at 90 degrees. Okay, here, huh? at 90 degrees. And a flow line, a flow line cannot intersect another flow line. Okay, so let's say you already have this flow line. Alright, and then you draw another flow line like this. So this is wrong because there is an intersection between the flow line. Same goes to the equipotential lines. You cannot have, for example, here is the equipotential line and then you draw another equipotential line like this. So you have the intersection at uh, equipotential line. So that one also uh, cannot be uh, permitted. 